Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am at Florida Cavern State Park located in Mariana, Florida. This park has cave tours, camping, hiking, fishing, canoeing, all kinds of recreational activities. So come along with me and let's check it all out. I'm at my camping site, which is camping site number eight, and let me show you around. So I have a fire ring, a grill, picnic table, a hammock stand, and on the other side of my sanctuary is the water hookup, electric, and sewer. So let me show you around the campground. It's not a very big campground and it is nice and quiet. So the sites are pretty open, not a lot of um, barriers such as trees between each site. Let's check out the bathrooms. Now the restroom shower area also has some laundry facilities. Nice sink over there for washing your dishes. And let's check out one of the restrooms. It smells nice and clean in here. So there's a fan circulating the air. Sinks. Three toilet stalls, one for the disabled. And let's look at the shower area. This is what the shower area looks like. You have a little bench upon entering. And then a shower area. Some sites have these lovely magnolia trees. Campground host is located right over there. Hi. So not very much in the way of shade around here. So we'll go around this bend and I'll show you what it looks like down the other side. In 2018, Category 5 Hurricane Michael affected all 1,300 acres of Florida Cavern State Park and damaged a lot of the park's vegetation and tree canopy. Thousands of trees donated by multiple groups have been planted throughout the park. So it looks like you can get interior sites and the ones on the outskirts all back up to the wooded area. Check out that snake. It's got its little tongue out. The majority of Cavern Tour tickets are offered on a first come, first served basis and can be purchased at the Florida Caverns gift shop. Visitors are encouraged to arrive early as tours sometimes sell out, especially on weekends and holidays. This looks like the snake that we saw in the A gray rat snake. This is super cool. 
The caverns are dimly lit and you may bring a flashlight. The tour moves at a leisurely pace through a dozen cave rooms where the visitors are verbally guided through the cave's history and interesting geological formations such as stalactites, stalagmites, columns and flowstones. <laughs> Alright, so up here in the ceiling, these little ones are called soda straws. Those are the early stages of a stalactite. And then once those fill in and grow around, those ones are called stalactites, the big ones from the ceiling. And then from the ground up, you have the stalagmites. And then when a stalagmite and a stalactite meet, it'll grow the columns, it reaches all the way from the floor to the ceiling. And then on the wall, these are our draperies. Draperies? Oh, those. So over here, that little, that right there is just a different type of formation of the drapery. Sometimes they'll start off growing like a normal drape and then the water droplets won't go all the way down and it'll collect different dots along the way and it'll make it look like a backbone kind of. So this room is called our wedding room. Now we do have two to three weddings here a year. So if anybody would like to get married in the cave, you can get married right here in this very room. And then right over here, that is our wedding cake. The cave has many narrow passages and several areas are as low as four feet and as narrow as two feet. The guided tour lasts approximately one hour and is approximately three quarters of a mile. The caves have been lit in various places with colorful LED lighting. The year-round temperature in the caverns is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's an example of just how tight and narrow the space can be.
There are some wet and slippery spots on the walkways. This is the Blue Hole. This is a great place to hang out on an especially hot day. The watercolor is just awesome. It is about 62 to 64 degrees year round, and it gets pretty deep in some parts of it. The Blue Hole Spring has two vents from the Floridian Aquifer. The north vent is 97 feet deep, and the south vent is 26 feet deep. They have a couple of pretty bridges going across the blue hole and there is a sign down there that does say watch out for alligators. There's some bathrooms right nearby along with some picnic tables and some grills so you can enjoy a day out right here by the Blue Hole. All right, so I really enjoyed my stay here at Florida Cavern State Park. This is a great place to come, especially when it's really hot out. You can enjoy the coolness of the caves and the cool waters of the Blue Hole. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.